This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I am continuing my series on 40 millimeter aluminum padlocks with this lock, the Federal Lock Model 90A. We can look at the keyway to start out with and see that this is most certainly not a paracentric keyway. You can see there's pretty clearly an open space right in the middle from which we can pick. As for whether or not a special pick is required, this lock gives me a bit of a dilemma. I can fit a 25 thousandths pick in here, and I have opened it with it. However, it is much, much more difficult because it's quite tight in there and it completely destroys the feedback. I can open this lock about two to three times faster with the 18 thousandths pick. And if you go back and look at my description of the point system, I said I would award points if a specialized pick either was required or made picking materially easier. And this lock falls into the latter category. So I will be giving it points for specialized pick. And that is what I'll be using in this video, a Peterson standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, we got top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar. And let's open this guy up now. One's loose. Click out of two, click out of three, Nothing on four, five, click out of six, back to one. Little something out of one maybe. Nothing on two, click out of three, nothing on four, five, click out of six, back to one. Click there, click out of two, got a little movement on the core. Nothing on three, okay, four, getting some feedback. Counter rotation, I think we got him set. And five, nothing there, or six, back to one, two, three, four, not sure, okay, maybe it was five. There we go, got it open. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. As most of these locks do, this lock comes apart with a screw down the shackle hole. like we need a clip remover to get this core apart. Okay, now a key and a follower should get this lock apart. Okay, let's dump these key pins out. One is a standard steel pin. Two is standard. Three is serrated. Four is standard. Five is serrated. And six is serrated. This is one of the locks that falls into the category of standard pins among long, I'm sorry, short standard pins among longer serrated pins. So I will be giving the, the pins in slots two and four points for being security pins. Okay, let's get the driver pins out now. One is a standard anti-drill pin. Two is an anti-bump pin. Three is a spool. Four is a spool, five is a spool, and six is a spool. Okay, and we do have counter milling in this core, which I can see. I'll, I'll give you a close up of that in just a moment. But first, let's talk about points. Okay, we get a point for each security pin and for each anti drill pin, so that gives us. 12 points for the pinning here. We get another two points for having this be a six pin core, so that's 14 points. We don't get points for having a paracentric keyway. We get two more points for needing a specialized pick. That puts us up to 16 points. 
two more points for counter milling that gets us up to 18 points and there are no deductions for being bypassable because this core is not of a bypassable design so 18 points total it looks like after i guess this is our 10th lock we are finally knocking the chinese generic out of a podium position so not bad by this federal lock it's the new lock in second place let me give you a close-up of the pins okay as you can see in slot number one we have steel anti-drill pins and then the rest of our key pins well we have serrated pins in slots three five and six and then we have standards in two and four but in my system they will be counted as security pins because the only reason they're standard is because of the bidding moving up to the rest of the driver pins we have one anti-bump pin in slot two and then four spools in slots three through six moving over to the core we can see that it does have counter milling there and looking at the position of the the actuator on the back we can see that this lock is not of a bypassable design okay that's all i have for you on this federal lock model 90a if you have any questions or comments about this lock please put them below if you like this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe and as always have a nice day thank you